I've done the repair you can see there that's that little inlaid block which I think acted as a focus for the start of the crack which is probably a good thing because it meant I just got one clean crack across there uh, so the repair was quite easy to do the glue line between the boo and the U isn't perfect there but I braced it and I flexed it against my knee I reckon it's going to hold up Now I could chisel out a groove down the middle here and let in another piece of U but I'm not sure it's going to do much because with that at 45 degrees being in compression it should be pretty solid. There's a minor bit of damage to the tip probably where the string yanked it off sideways or something I'm not sure so I don't think I dropped the bow uh, but something I'll need to do is if I have longer loops on the string, instead of the string going across there, it will actually run right down alongside the levers to here. So I'll need to change the angle, you know, the string will be in danger of popping out here. But also to repair that tip, what I can just do is overlay another bit of U going from about here to here, say. Just thickening the tip a little bit and sort of hooking it this way a bit and then let in a new bit of horn a little bit deeper and cleaner. I'll unpick the serving on the string and re-whip it with nice big loops or make a new string whichever is easier. But I think I'm going to be able to carry on experimenting with this which is really good. Right here's the lever bow amongst a load of clutter. It's now had the repair on the belly done which I think I showed before but now I've modified the levers what I've done is I've glued an extra sliver on the back face of the lever here as in the back back of the bow uh, put in a new horn insert and I've adjusted the string so now it has a long loop so that will help keep the string either side of the lever as it comes back to braced position and it should help the string catchers actually catch it but it's like everything whatever you do seems to change something else now effectively what it's done is change the lever angle because before the string used to go across to about here because it had a much shorter loop and then from there to this point so what it's done is it's changed the angle from about that to that which means the string is actually lifting off later so it's accumulating more draw force before the string lifts off which may be a good thing but in view of the repair it could be overstressing the limb so what I might do is undo this binding slim the tips a bit more take a little off the entire belly just to ease off the draw weight and then rebind it but it's like all these things how do you know when you're actually working it too hard well the obvious answer is when it goes bang but normally when it goes bang you're too late so I'm trying to second guess it I'll probably put it on the tiller and give it a bit of a flex see how it's looking right of course all that waffles all well and good but I'll, I'll never know what's happening until I pull it now just for the record the crack was on the lower limb just there by this node, that's where the crack was. She, she, she'd have been lifting off the levers about there, but she's not at the minute. So there's 50 pound, and she's just about lifting there. Yeah, she's lifting at 50. Now, it's making me a bit nervy. It's looking weaker on that left limb now, slightly. So I'll probably do a bit of tillering and what have you. 
I didn't see what draw length that was, but I can look at it on the video and make some sort of educated guess about where I want to go from here. Uh, but it's not gone bang, and it seems to hold it better on the levers. Before, as soon as I strung the bow, I'd have to be fiddling the string across one way or the other. But this arrangement, it's certainly holding the string on the levers up to about this point. So you can see it's an improvement. We live and learn onwards and upwards and other such um, platitudes. We have plenty of latitude, platitudes in here. <laughs>